Hi friends, I am here with Daigi and Amali, and we're going to talk a little bit today about how to add and subtract fractions in a word problem. And as a reminder, we know a couple of things to get us started. So we create models using pictures, we decompose using unit fractions, and we write expressions using unit fractions and other combinations. We're going to add and subtract fractions with like denominators. Remember, like denominators are things that are the same. So let's try our first word problem. Sally has four eighths inches of pink ribbon. Amali has three eighths purple ribbon. How many inches do they have in all? So we would write. So we would write four eighths. Plus three eighths. And now, how do we know it's adding a mine? Is there mm -hmm. a key word? Because it says in the ending, have in all. In all. Okay, so we have to put it together. And how do we find that sum, that answer? We would write seven eighths. Why is it seven eighths and not seven sixteenths? Because you're only supposed to add the numerator, not the denominator. Okay. Because if the I were denominator to, always has to stay the same. Good. Because if I were to draw a pie, and when we add, we're talking about the same whole. So my four eighths would be green, and then I add my three eighths to the same pie. And now you have your seven eighths all together. Nice job. Now, is there anything we're missing in order to have a complete answer? Seven eighths. We have to add. They have seven eighths inches in all. Good. So we can label our work with our word problem. Okay. How about number two? Miss Twyman has one candy bar. She gives three twelves to Miss Archie. How much of the candy bar does Miss Twyman have left? And what's the important information I need to know in this question? You need to know that Miss Twyman gives three twelves to Miss Archie, and she has one whole candy bar. Okay, so you said the word gives. What does that tell us we need to do? It tells us that we have to subtract. So I have 1 minus 3 twelfths, but you know what, I'm concerned about this 1. What do I do with that? It's supposed to be a whole. It's one whole. But how do I subtract one whole when it's not a fraction? What can I do with that one whole? Right. Well, <clears throat> what is this one whole going to become as a fraction? going to become 12 twelfths. 12 twelfths, because we look at the denominator we have, and then we know we need to have the whole pack, so we need 12 twelfths. So I'm going to rewrite that as 12 twelfths minus 3 twelfths. And that equals... So, Ms. Tormann has nine twelfths of the candy bar left. And we have one quick challenge we want to show you. Mike the bunny has three fifths of a carrot. Mrs. Alvarado gives him four fifths more. How much carrot does he have now? Now, I bet at first you guys have the answer just like that, that, but there's something a little bit different about this question. I'm challenging you to figure out what's different about this question and come in with that answer tomorrow. Good luck. See you later.